Come with me as I show you around this deck by deck tour of Havila Casta. I spent a few nights on board between Buda and Shirkanes, so let me share with you my impression of this beautiful ship. To get a brief overview of the ship, deck 6 is the beating heart and is home to most of the communal areas, while decks 8 and 9 are the places for outdoor activities and views, and cabins are located on decks 4, 5 and 7. The Havila Voyages ships are all identical, so even though this is a tour of Havila Casta, the same tour can apply to all of the ships in the fleet, Capella, Pollux, Polaris and of course Casta. Passengers board the ship on deck 4. It's also the main route off the ship at ports. Now while the steps are steep, there is an accessible stairlift available. When you board the ship, you enter the lobby areas where you'll find reception. And it's here that you check in when you first board. The atrium is open, light and airy, with a striking glass elevator spanning all decks. Havila Voyages carries two types of passengers, those on the round trip voyages or the voyages north or south, and what are known as port to port passengers, who may be on for an overnight trip or even a shorter journey between ports. The rest of deck four is taken up by cabin, so we'll head on now up to deck five. Again, the majority of this deck is taken up by accommodation and you'll also find a small laundrette at the front of this deck with washing machines and dryers. Just off the atrium, you'll find a small seating area which offers floor to ceiling windows for amazing views of the passing scenery. thing I loved is that with these QR codes on each table you can order drinks and snacks to be delivered and you won't even have to move from your prime spot or have to draw yourself away from the beautiful scenery. As I mentioned the majority of this deck is taken up with accommodation and when I stayed on board my Seaview Superior double cabin was located on this deck. If you're interested I've uploaded a tour of my Seaview Superior double cabin and the link is in the description below. On to deck 6. This is where the majority of the ship's facilities are clustered, which makes it easy to access and to navigate. Let's start at the back of the ship in the main dining room, the Havrand restaurant. This restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Port to port passengers are also able to pay extra to dine in this restaurant. It's a beautiful space at the aft with wraparound panoramic views of the stunning Norwegian coastline. Every seat in this restaurant is afforded a spectacular view. If you want to find out more about this restaurant and other dining venues on board, then check out my complete dining guide and the link is in the description below. Making our way to the front of the ship now, just outside the Haverand restaurant is yet another space to sit and relax and watch the scenery with comfortable chairs and uninterrupted views. Just past this area is the Havli Cafe. This cafe is open between 8am and 10pm and serves snacks, sandwiches and hot meals. Most of the items of the menu are included in the fare for the longer voyages, but port to port passengers can also purchase all items off the menu. There is no buffet on board Havila Voyages. Food is made fresh to order and served plated at your table. I found the Havli Cafe is a great place to bump into port to port passengers and learn more about Norwegian life from the locals. The cafe is also great to grab a meal if you've come back from an excursion and missed your dining slot. Or it's a great place to dine for more of an informal lunch or dinner. More information plus the menus are available in my dining guide. Moving past a further seating area in the atrium on deck 6, we move into the bow lounge which wraps around the front of the ship. In this area you'll find the shop. I was quite impressed with what was on offer in the shop for such a small ship. 
You'll find clothing, souvenirs and essential items, which are great if you've omitted something from your packing list. You can even purchase thermals. In the shop there's also an excursion desk and staff are very knowledgeable, friendly and helpful. Next to the shop is the conference room. Come here if you're interested in learning about Norwegian history as there's a range of lectures on everything from Havila, the formation of the fjords, bird life, Sami culture, witches and the northern lights. Let me take you on a tour of the bow lounge. The front section is a much more cosy seating area than the other spaces on ship with smaller windows and even a fire that add an extra touch of cosiness or kuzli. You'll find board games dotted around, tables for writing and comfy chairs to curl up in and just try to resist the strong urge to fall into a gentle slumber rocked by the motions of the ship, something quite a few passengers on my tour around had totally succumbed to. However, if you step outside the door onto the observation deck, you are immediately transported into the brisk, icy Norwegian coastline. The observation deck is not always open, but I managed to get out on deck for our approach to Chumsa, an area which is normally off limits to passengers on more traditional cruise ships which sail the Norwegian coast. I love that you can get access to this part of the ship. It certainly provides spectacular views, but wrap up warm if you're headed out here. Back in the warmth of the bow lounge now. Here there's a small area for smaller passengers, which is packed full of wooden toys and jigsaws. Moving back into the atrium now, there is a plentiful supply of coffee and tea from the machines in this lounge. And finally, on deck six, we find Hildring Fine Dining Restaurant. This offers a five course signature menu with the very best of Norwegian ingredients. This restaurant is a smaller and more intimate venue and there is an additional charge for the five course set menu. More information can be found in my dining guide. Moving on now to deck seven. On this deck, you'll find most of the premium cabins, such as the deluxe balconies, panoramic cabins and suites. If you'd like to see a tour of a junior suite, then I've uploaded a video on my channel. Link is in the description below. There is a small observation deck at the aft on deck seven, but I'll get to that in a moment. Much to my surprise, there's actually quite a good gym on board for this size of ship. The port side is focused on strength training and the starboard side is given over to the cardio equipment. Both gyms have wonderful views out to sea and make exercise a much more pleasurable experience. Now we move on to deck eight. Let's start with the saunas. There's both a male and female sauna on board. The female sauna is on the port side and the male sauna is on the starboard side. It's a decent sized sauna for this side of ship and there's also lockers and a shower room in this area too. how the sauna connects directly to the outside decks so you can get the proper Nordic sauna experience. And the distance between the sauna and the outdoor jacuzzi is just about enough not to freeze before retreating to the warmth of the hot tub. Here you'll also find the Havbrus bar. Havbrus translates into sea breeze in Norwegian. The Havbrus bar is open certain times during the voyage depending on the weather. And as you pass the Arctic Circle, this is also the location where the ceremony by Njord, the Norse God of the Sea, is carried out. During my time on board, there was also a Gulf Fjord celebration one evening where mulled wine and creamy fish soup and shots were available along with some entertainment. Continuing to the back of the ship on deck eight, you can see the steps which lead down to the observation deck on deck seven. You can also access this deck directly at the aft door on deck seven for wonderful views of the wake. Back on deck eight, you'll find this covered walkway. While the view is mostly obscured by the lifeboats, it's a lovely sheltered walk with some great vantage points at the side of the ship. And my tip is, if you want a great spot for sailings, then head to the port side. Mm -hmm. 
now up to deck 9, our last deck on this tour. The main areas on this deck are the Havblik Bar and Lounge and the Promenade Deck. Havblik translates into sea block, but the word describes the glassy conditions of the sea. In contrast with the Cozy Bow Lounge on deck 6, Havblik is an expanse of glass, both from the sides and above. This makes for an excellent place to watch the scenery, but my tip is that on rougher sea conditions, you might want to retreat to the bow lounge, especially if you suffer from motion sickness. As this is the main bar on board, you'll find cocktails, beers, wines and spirits, and also an impressive aqua heat menu. The seating is very comfortable and the decor perfectly complements the scenery, never forgetting that the star of the show is always the Norwegian coastline. This central area also serves as a snack lounge for Havila Gold passengers between 4pm and 6pm each day. More details about Havila Gold are in the description below. Here you'll find spaces to charge a laptop and a place to sit and work. Now let's venture outside. On deck 9 you'll find the outside panorama deck. This is a full wraparound deck, however be warned a small part of each side at the front is a metal grid, so wear sturdy shoes and be careful not to drop anything, and don't look down if you're afraid of heights. If you're brave enough to venture out here and wrap up warm if you do, you'll be rewarded with spectacular jaw-dropping views. If you want to find a warmer spot on this deck, my tip is to head to the port side just in front of the Havila Voyages logo. There's a hot air vent here and it's a welcome heat source if you're watching the northern lights. Just look to where there's no snow on the deck and you'll find the sweet spot. The aft portion of the panorama deck is also something pretty special too. This offers a perfect vantage point to view the ever-changing scenery of the beautiful Norwegian coastline. Like what you've seen so far, then you'll want to follow my Norwegian Coastal Express vlogs coming soon. I'll show you some of the fantastic ports and excursions that you can experience on board. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed my quick tour. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Or you can watch one of these videos now.